In this demo, we will show you how to scale up an application that we previously deployed. There are several ways that we can do this. The first way is simply to extend our node pool. You can see here that we have one node pool that is quite small. It is one core with two gigabytes of memory, and you can see here that there are two worker nodes. So we can go into this configuration and request more nodes. If we update this node pool so that the new desired number of nodes is three, with two of them already running, there will be one more created. The Ridge system knows how to create and configure this, and it will join the cluster soon. Ridge configures all of the load balancing, persistent volumes, and any other underlying requirements that Kubernetes decides to allocate when deploying a new application uh, to this node. We do this seamlessly so that you as developers don't need to worry about any of this underlying infrastructure. And here we see that the cluster has switched to a running state, and you will see here that there is a new node pool that has joined the cluster. The second way that we can do this is to add a new node pool. We might want to do this if we require different sizing. So for example, right now we have a small node pool and let's imagine that we want to add a bigger one. We'll call it bigger node pool. Now we can request the number of worker nodes. We can select a different larger configuration. Let's pick two CPUs and four gigs of RAM and we can request public IPs. This is something that can only be done at the time of the node pool creation. If you are using node ports and not a load balancer, you can configure taints and labels. And now we create this node pool. So now we have two node pools, node pool one, our original one, and our new node pool, bigger node pool. And as you can see, it is in fact larger. Uh, just as we showed you before, Ridge takes care of creating, provisioning, and configuring the machine, load balancer, persistent volumes, and anything else that might be required. Once the cluster switches to a running state, you can see that everything has scaled up. We just uh, did all of this manually, but obviously it could also have been done through our API or through uh, our Terraform provider. The last option is our auto-scaling capability. Once we check this box, you can choose the minimum and maximum number of nodes for auto-scaling. If Kubernetes cannot allocate a pod, then it will be able to scale up or down according to your policy. And now let's pop into our terminal and uh, kubeconfig will show us here that we have three worker nodes running for one of our clusters and one worker node running for the other cluster. And you can see that all of these nodes joined very quickly. Thank you for watching this demo about scaling up a cluster on Ridge.